So let's take a look at the big picture view. We have, and this is something similar to what we did in the kickoff meeting, right? 50% of the weightage is contained in the big five topic. All right. So really need to stay above average. If there are some areas that you find uh, easy, like math, like circuits, uh, potentially those of you who have power system background, power, you know, if you are a computer engineer, maybe digital systems, electronics. So we, I'm not going to talk individually about each and when every one of these subjects, we spent over an hour on this. But what's our goal? Guys, we need to stay above average because if 50% of your performance is above average, you have wiggle room. But if you start out with 50% below average, then in the remaining 12 sections, you have to do amazingly well. And all of them are disconnected sections. It just make, it becomes difficult. Some students interpret it. Like when I upload YouTube videos, sometimes I get comments. Hey, it's only five sections I need to study for the FE exam and pass. And obviously this person is not serious, right? They're not seriously considering to take the exam. They're just sort of, you know, they have heard FE exam is something and then they're randomly, you know, looking for a shortcut. That is not what I'm telling, right? I, I don't believe in shortcuts, right? What I'm saying is that we need to give respect to these sections because they will make it or break it, okay? If you stay above average in them, then your chances of passing the exam will significantly increase. Otherwise, it's going to be an uphill battle. Then the first four, first five, however, you want to look at it, throw math in it, and it becomes, you know, 20, 30%, 25%, 30% of the exam weightage. Uh, psychologically, as I said, they're a little bit uh, important because you need to deal with them head on, right? Uh, and then once you get in a po positive state of mind, that tells you that, you know, I, I think I'm onto something. I can, I can, today is my day, right? I, I want you guys to have that type of attitude in your mind that today is my day, right? Or rather than after first seeing the first 10 questions and throwing your hands in the air and you're like, you know what? No, this exam just starting out really badly. So I'm, I'm just not going to pass. Once you get into that type of talk, internal talk, all bets are off. Even if the exam is super easy, right? Just stay positive, guys. You know, have ner nerves of steel, okay? Uh, psychological elements, especially at this stage, become super important. Computer networks, systems, and software. These are what students categorize as computer topics. A lot of times they actually throw digital systems, arguably, which is true because digital systems is an integral part of computer systems. But anyway, so the weightage for these three guys is actually relatively low, but you need to do a lot of work, right? So the effort to reward your show is not quite there. But anyways, so we know what we need to do. We need to improvise over here and basically deal with them selectively compartments, easy stuff, medium stuff, and the hard stuff. If it clicks, it clicks. If it doesn't click, we are not going to lose our sleep on it. And then the miscellaneous topics, um, one theme, journal theme thread that's in the connects all of them is that they are generally a little bit math intensive, Nina system, signal processing, EMAG, uh, with the exception of maybe control systems and communication. They're all a little bit math intensive. Calculus comes into play. Integration comes into play. Transforms come into play. 20% weightage, nothing that we can ignore, uh, but I think we can selectively work through them and we've discussed them in quite a bit of detail. So this is a big picture view of things. Mm -hmm.